Hi, are you stressed out and you are so overworked that you can't focus? There's so many things going on in your life, you're starting to feel overwhelmed. Well, in this video, you can learn about a Qigong meditation practice that will help you calm your mind. I'm gonna show you how you can calm yourself, center yourself, so that whatever is happening around you will not affect you. Before I started learning Qigong, I was very stressed out. I had trouble focusing, I had brain fog, and I had a lot of anxiety inside myself. But ever since I started to practice Qigong daily, even just five to 10 minutes a day, I was able to transform my life. Now I'm focused, I'm centered, I'm happy, and I'm calm. So pay close attention to what you're about to learn in this video because what you'll learn here can be used for your whole life from now on. That and more is coming up. In this video, I'm going to show you the rise and fall technique. So remember, we just did the La Chi exercise. Now I want to use the same idea, but manipulate the Chi to go up and down like this. So as you're doing this, everything else has to work. All your Tai Chi, all your alignments, your breathing, your posture, your relaxation has to be there. Once you have that, then you want to do this. So your hands are open up like this and they go up and down. And what I'm imagining is as I'm going down, I mean, as I'm going up, imagine that there's like water here. You're in a pool of water and it's about mm, hip high. So you're hip high, deep in water. So you have your hands on the water. Your hands are just right on the surface of the water. And as it comes up, imagine that your hand has the ability to draw water up. So it's like sucking up the water. So while you're sucking up the water, you can feel that the water is heavy, pulling your hand up. Okay. As you're going down, feel that water still being sucked up by your hands. And now it's going back down to the water surface level. Okay. So as you're down the water surface level, kind of feel your hands touching the surface. So as your hand goes in, you can feel the water kind of pushing back. Imagine that you have um, something floating on the water and you're, you're pressing your hands on it. And as you press down on this object, or it could be a balloon or something, you can feel the balloon pushing back up because it wants to float. It doesn't want to go in the water. Okay. So as you go up again, Imagine that you have this water that you're drawing up. You're kind of like lifting this water. This water is hanging, like getting sucked up by your hands from the water that you're waist deep in. Could be hip deep because your hands down here, right? So your hands are on the water. Your hands are sucking up the water and it's heavy. You can feel the weight of the water. Relax your hands. As you, as you come down, don't just drop the water, don't just drop it. As you come down, imagine you're slowly, your hands are still sucking up the water, but then you're just moving your hands back down. And as you come back down to the water surface level, when it goes down, you can feel the water pushing back up on your hand because it, it wants to float, your hands wants to float. Like imagine your hands are like um, flotation, devices. It doesn't want to go in. Whenever it goes in, it wants to go back up. You kind of feel that, feel that buoyancy of your hands on the water. So keep doing that. Okay. So notice that my body naturally kind of goes, drops a bit. My knees drop about an inch and my knees raise about an inch when I go up and they drop about an inch when I go down. Now you want to combine it with the breath. So as you're coming up, you breathe it, breathe in. And so when you come down, you breathe out. Breathe in. Feel the heaviness of the water that you're sucking into your hands. 
As you go down, still feel the heaviness. And then relax. Come up. Go down. So hand position is very important as well. What I like to do is as I'm coming up, my hands kind of relax as they come up, they're relaxed. And then as I come down, they open a little bit. As they come up, they're relaxed, they, they close a little bit. Breathe in, and then when they relax, I mean, when I go down, I contract, I mean, I open up my hands a little. Okay, so what I'm feeling, and you may feel this yourself, is you should feel that there's this heaviness underneath your hands. And this heaviness, you can feel tingling, could be like a magnetic sensation. Okay, you should feel that heaviness, feel heat, feel pressure when you're coming down. You should feel that pressure on your hand. You feel like there's pressure underneath your hands. Okay. So that's the rise and fall. So from the side, I'll show you how to do this again. So once again, everything's suspended like a string from the top of your head, suspended with a, with a neck brace. Everything else is loose. Your spine is straight as you come up. Come up to about chest level. And then when you come down, go down to about hip level and up. And then relax. So once again, when you come up, you breathe in. And then you breathe out. Breathe in, sucking up the water. Feel the weight of that water on your hand. Breathe out. Okay, so when you do this, the point of this is to help you to feel groundedness. And when you feel the weight of your hands in this posture, you can start to, you'll probably start to feel that your legs start to get heavy too. And you start to feel more grounded into the ground. So that's the point of this. You feel more heaviness and groundedness. So the next step is to do the same thing. But now what I want to do is exaggerate the heaviness of your body. Okay, so as you're doing this, like really bend your legs a little bit more. You don't have to straw all the way down. But bend your legs more, and now feel your feet pressing down through the ground. The same way that your hands are pressing, feeling that drawing, the water sucking it down. Feel the water or the ground kind of like sucking your feet deeper into the ground. Okay. So I'm feeling both my hands and my feet getting sucked into the ground. At the same time, when I come up, I can still feel the water sucking my hands down, the weight. I also feel the, the, the ground kind of sucking my feet deeper, even when, I, when I'm coming up. So when I'm coming up, I'm kind of resisting that suction and as I'm coming I mean, when I'm coming down and then when I'm coming up, there's still that suction on my feet. So I have both my hands and my feet feeling that downward energy. Okay, so see I'm squatting a little when I come up. And when I come down and I come up, I extend and expand. When I come down, I breathe out, relax everything. Feel it go all the way down. The more relaxed you are, then the deeper and the more grounded you can get. Okay, so when you are bending your feet, bending your legs, there should be a point where you feel like, feel like it's really solid and feel like it's really grounded, right? When you go a little bit too low, what happens is that you get too much tension in your feet. 
if you stand up too tall, that you don't feel grounded. So there should be a point where you feel naturally that you kind of just feel like your body just sits and rests in that position. You can feel like you're sitting down, kind of like on your hips. So that's the, that's the place that you feel the most grounded. Okay, you can see the bend in my legs. Okay, so some people, if you're standing up like this, you won't feel it. And if, you, if you're squatting this low, then it's gonna to be too much tension in your legs. So it's gonna be somewhere in between. So kind of slowly come down. And then I can feel like right here at this point, I feel like, I feel like I'm like sitting down on something. So that's the point where you wanna to, want, to, want to stop. And then you wanna come back up. All right, so that's the rise and fall. And practice that first just with the hands. You can do this sitting too. Um, you can't do this lying down because it's up and down movement. But you can do the sitting. Ideally, you do the standing in this posture because then you can use your whole body. You can feel your whole body sinking down. You can feel your whole body rising and sinking down. So practice that, and we'll see you in the next lesson. I hope you enjoyed that video. If you want to learn more about Qigong, make sure you click on these videos here to watch these important videos next. If you haven't subscribed, click the subscribe button right here. And do you want to know what your Qi energy level is? Make sure you click the link in the description to take the quiz and find out.